Hey YouTube, it's your Glitterati Diva. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Today's topic, Cardi B, Star Marie, and Tasha K. You know what, I have to say that since Tasha K interviewed Star Marie, it just seems like Nicki Minaj is like an afterthought. She's like a footnote in this story now. It's amazing to me. One, Cardi, sweetie, people are going to say negative things about your parenting because people tend to be judgmental. That doesn't mean you're a bad parent. It means people are nosy. That's what that means. Two, Star Marie, I get it. You knew Cardi. You guys danced in the same club. She blew up, but you didn't. I get, I get that that would bother you. But now you're riding on the negative coattails of what that young girl, a choice that she made that was not wise, was not wise at all. And now you're riding on the negative wave of everyone feeling that because Cardi B did what we would, we would consider a ratchet thing by throwing a shoe at Nicki Minaj, at one of the most attended Fashion Week gala, galas, excuse me, the Harper Bazaar party, that you wanted to ratchet up the so-called ratchetness of Cardi B and riding this wave. It's not a good look, sweetie. And now people are coming out with receipts to prove you wrong. Tasha K, Tasha, you are definitely a YouTube influencer, but now you're calling yourself a journalist. If you were a journalist, a true journalist, you would have, you would be non-biased. And right now you're coming off as biased. Now I get it. You come out and say, you don't get two fusses about what people think or say about your decision. I totally get it. But if you are a true journalist, then you do you need to do the right thing. And the right thing would be to reach out to Cardi B and get her side of the story. So either you interview Cardi B, uh, take in consideration what Cardi B is saying, do your own research, do something. But right now it looks like you're just trying to justify your, your choice. And when you do that, it makes you look suspect. You have over, I think maybe you have over 300,000 subscribers. I thought you had over 400,000 subscribers. Who's to say? Like uh, Hater Mega Juno says, who are me to judge? However, please, 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 please do more research on this. The research or the receipts you prove you brought out or, or posted just yesterday, they they proved that Cardi and Star Marie worked together. But you have yet to prove that they lived together. And that's what Star Marie said. And as far as Offset having a cold sore, anyone that's ever worked in the medical field knows that there are several different versions of herpes. There's herpes simplex 1 that causes cold sores. And there's herpes simplex 2 that causes genital cold sores. Or not cold sores, but genital sores. There's, but there's more than just one version of herpes. So Star Marie's, Star Marie stating that Cardi B has herpes doesn't really. F so let's do the right thing. You have, you're a fabulous YouTube influencer. You're going to take it to the level of journalist. Let's do your due diligence. Go ahead and reach out to Cardi B and her people and see what you can do. This is your girl, the Glitterati Diva. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.